Well, there are times when uh, everything goes down and uh, generators are down. So I said in a previous video, my uh, little Honda EU2000 just up and exploded basically. The engine just crapped out, leaked oil everywhere. The 3000, the Honda 3000, uh, it seems to be a coil issue. There's no spark. So I'm going to see if the, my coil is in that I ordered a while back in town. My solar is covered with snow, which I keep shoveling off and it's not nearly enough to do anything really. Um, I'm down to this. So a little 500 watt inverter, uh, and I'm hooking it to my Toyota truck and uh, it's very inefficient. It's not a long-term fix, but it is a fix. It's going to um, plugging in AC line to the house, which is going to run my battery chargers. Um, so that's an engine prov providing DC power to an inverter, which is converting it to AC, which is running to the house, which is then to another charger, which is converting it back to DC. So <laughs> terrible. Uh, if I have to do this for any length of time, I'm going to run a, a chunk of cable, two cables into the battery bank, and I'm just going to go right off of the uh, DC alternator here in the uh, the truck, which is going to be a bit more efficient for charging that battery bank. And, as luck would have it, I've turned a very simple project, usually, into, well, the project would be uh, draining the transmission fluid and just putting new transmission fluid in at least some of it, uh, into my plow truck, my Chevy here, and uh, the drain plug on the transmission pan, I've never owned this truck before, this is, I just bought it a couple months ago, is seized up. So I was like, all right, well, I'll just drop the pan and do a filter and everything. So I went to the auto parts store, got the filter, blah, blah, blah. Trying to take the pan off is, the exhaust has been smashed up underneath there. Uh, so that was a, an act of Congress to get that thing out. And then dealing with all of that stuff, and it's still apart. I'm, uh, I'm going to be under the truck the rest of the way today and hopefully get this thing wrapped up. I got the new filter on the uh, insert plug. The, the filter, it's like a friction fit plug. You have to pull out and put a new one in every time you do a filter. And that was, was brutal. So a small, simple project to just drain it from the pan, throw a few quarts in, has now turned into an all-day deal. I was working on it last night for several hours, and then I'm sure today several hours as well. Keeping positive, I've got this beautiful weather. And one of the positive notes is it's not 20 below. It's only 30 degrees above. So light snow. And uh, just a few flurries here and there. Beautiful yard. I can look out <laughs> past my snow piles, which are, I don't know, it's about six foot tall. And I've shoveled the tops of it off twice. And my plow truck can't even push any more up because it winds up hanging the plow up on the snow bank and getting stuck. So, winter in Alaska off grid and uh, you just got to roll with the punches. Um, luckily I've got some time here the next few days to to get this stuff done but uh, trying to do my preventative maintenance on the vehicles and it's turning into a, a big old colossal mess and no power so having to improvise that's another important point to make. Uh, you got to improvise you got to know how to do this stuff or find someone who, who can teach you or learn it on your own quickly. Um, hopefully you've got an internet connection with a phone wherever you're at if you run into such issues or you can figure it out. Otherwise you're stuck. You're just going to have to deal with it. So a little inverter, 500 watt inverter from Home Depot. I think it was like 50 or 60 bucks that I usually keep in the trucks for charging stuff uh, for emergencies. And now that's that's the only thing that's going to be powering my tiny house, charging the batteries up. So it's kind of funny, ironic. <laughs> All right, signing off on that one. This is uh, dealing with it. Just dealing with it. All right, take care. Bye.